everyone, welcome back to Lumber Hacks. Uh, today we're going to do another unboxing, overview, and demo of the Cobalt 24 Volt Max Brushless Miter Saw. Um, this is regularly $270 at Lowe's. Um, I was one of the lucky few that got it on an after Christmas sale for $100. Um, so I went ahead and picked it up and I've been sitting on it ever since, waiting to open it, uh, trying to find time to just do an unboxing and review. I've been saving it for you guys, so let's dig in and um, see what it takes to get this thing all together and see how it works. up got a couple of bolts here for something this is your uh, work clamp instruction manual dust collection bag carry handle There's your saw. All ready to go, so I'm gonna move this off of here. Just drop the box out of the way. Nothing else in the box besides the styrofoam. So here she is in a bag. Come like this. Back here, there's a pin. Just put a little pressure, pull the pin. That releases the miter. You can drag it up. You got some nice handles here to grab a hold of. This releases your um, your miter. It's got some positive locks at 15, 30, and 45. You can go 45 in both directions. It's dual compound and dual miter. So with the dual compound. You can unlock your bevel by pushing this lever in the rear, flip that backwards, loosen this knob, loosen the knob takes you left, and then back right. Every time it comes into, you gotta just it does not have positive locks, so you got to refine your zero and lock it back in. Tighten it up. Okay. All right. So this is a. Uh, Part of the Cobalt 24 volt series. This has a brushless motor. Um, you have three and five eighths uh, for nested uh, crown molding, uh, three and a quarter baseboard against fence, nine positive miter stops, 
and 0 to 48 degrees left and right. Then you have a 10 inch 90 degree max cross cut and then when you're at 45 degrees you have a 6 inch uh, 45 max cross cut. Alright, that's uh, basically it. You've got a safety switch. It's ambidextrous. You can push it from either this side or this side and then pull the handle to engage. And I'm kind of excited because it looks like they went with a light instead of a laser for this model, which would be great because the laser on the 10, uh, the 10 inch regular miter saw is junk. Alright, so I've got a piece of scrap wood here and we're going to grab a battery real quick. This kit is tool only, so it does not come with a battery or charger, but I do have a 4 amp hour battery here. I believe uh, recommendations is that you have a um, 6 amp, 5 amp or something, but 4 amp will do just fine. Uh, add your dust collection to the rear, like that. And then it looks like these bolts are for this handle. You're going to need a number 2 uh, Phillips screwdriver. Uh, which it does not come with. Thank you. Your handle is, let's see, I might have to look at some directions here. Right there. It's going to slide right in. There's a hole right there for that. And that slides in there. You're going to put your long bolt right there. Tighten that down. Head screws will go on the back side of the handle here. This will um, finish the installation. The only two parts to add were the handle and the dust collection bag. All right. So we'll put our battery back on. When you want to carry it, you'll just push it back down like it was when you got it. Push this button back in. And there's a nice center of gravity on that handle there. It's pretty neat. Your um, material holder actually goes on either side and um, instead of being bolt-on it's like a um, dog hole tool so you just slide it in there and then the pressure that the clamp puts on with the material puts the clamp at an angle and the serrations hold it tight to the tool which is Actually, again, a lot nicer than what's on the, the, the 10 inch I have. I, I would like to see some of these things incorporated into 
the uh, electric powered one. So right now, um, it came with the saw pulled all the way forward. And all you have to do is loosen this, and that allows you to have your sliding action. So now that it's loose, we've got a full battery in it. Let's do a test cut. Actually, I already have a line uh, scribed. Uh, let's push our button and see our light. That is awesome. So, you don't see anything, but you pull it down, and now you see the shadow of the blade. So, we can line that right up. It looks like it's going to shoot that shadow. It's a momentary light. So, it only stays on for about 15 20 seconds. Push our safety button in and pull the trigger. Wow, that cut really well. And with ease, it's nice and smooth. Uh, it does come with a, a fine finish blade. And I was going to, uh, it's, it's a 42, seven and a quarter inch. I was gonna replace that as soon as I got it because I have these Diablos that I just like to run on my saws. Um, but I might actually use this one for a while until it, it starts showing some wear because that's a that's a fairly good finished cut there. So let's let's make another cut. Use our light. If I line up the saw right on the line. With the light, it actually cut right on the line, and I see just the edge of my mark still left. So it's, it's very accurate. The light, having a backlight instead of a laser, is way better. You don't have to constantly recalibrate it or fix it. Um, it's there's there's no thought involved. It's bright enough for me to be able to see with full shop lights on in here. Um, I'll have to test it. It's actually nighttime right now, so I'll have to um, give that a test in daylight and let you know how that works, but I think you're going to be able to see it just fine. That cuts very well, so if we uh, miter it over to 45, do a test cut on that. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Well, you do have um, locations for bolts, whether you want to use a, a big lag with a washer or you want to do a recess bolt, uh, you do have that option. Nothing special on the underbelly. You have your stops um, that you can switch here and set it to exactly 45 degrees. Um, very nice. I'm, I've left this in the box to do a review but I've also left it in the box thinking I have my 10 inch saw, I'm not going to use this very much unless I'm doing something over at the house or doing decking where I want something uh, close but um, I'm like really impressed with this I, I can't believe I waited this long to make this video and take it out of the box because this thing is pretty awesome so, all right, well that concludes our unboxing, overview, and demo of the Cobalt 24 volt brushless dual beveled compound miter saw. Um, yeah, I'm super impressed with this thing. It's, it's, it's actually really nice. I, I cannot believe I got this for $100. That is crazy. That, 
I, I think it, it's probably worth every bit of the original asking price. This thing is amazing. Uh, all right. Well, uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, I, I love the support of the channel that, that the channel's been getting. I, uh, I can't thank you guys enough for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about this or any of my other tools or, you know, start bugging me to actually make a project video, uh, just drop a comment right down there or follow us over to Facebook. Um, I got the Facebook page. Nobody ever, like, uh, comes and talks to me or harasses me on there. So uh, feel free to do that. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.